welcome. We are on a boat yeah. going through through Prague. So chaps, let's talk about these awards we're up for tonight. As we said earlier, Topics. we've got some client campaigns. Yes. So Con, one of the, well, a couple of them that uh, are particular ones you've been focused on. So we've got one with uh, with Soul Rock. Yes. Um, I think we've got one or two with, with Origin as well. We do, yes. So we've got we've definitely gone in with some heavy hitters this time. We did, we? yes. Some of our campaigns. The, the Soul Rock ones, are, so the Soul Rock's probably going in for the most competitive campaign, yes. which is best PPC campaign in the whole of Europe. In the whole of Europe, yeah. Um, that would be, you know, and that's going to be incredible. That one. So. That and that, I think we've entered a really strong application because that was the onboarding to 250 within six weeks. It so do you want to give yes. us a little little snapshot of what you did there? Because it was, it's quite something. It is. Well, so it was a very interesting, very interesting client. So we essentially onboarded a client that had only a handful of campaigns running at the time. And these campaigns were um, search and shopping, which were not very much optimized. Yeah, yeah. And quite a yeah. few of those shopping campaigns, they essentially were um, automatically rolled up into Performance Max yeah. and left on autopilot to yeah. run. So what, yeah, and that was that, I think I think that was probably the, uh, the the biggest part of the entire of yeah. the entire reshuffle because what we had to do is we needed to just change the structure completely. Yeah. I mean the brand campaign that was there was not doing anything. There was very <laughs> little focus on product in search campaigns. There and was. I think there was. That yeah. was that was probably the, the the biggest change that we've made. The biggest wholesale change straight away that we've made. Yeah. Also, though, the amount of revenue we were able to generate for those guys within a few weeks Insane. was unbelievable. And I think it was. because the common thing is, oh, PPC is very quick. And in this yes. case, it was very quick. Yeah. But it's, you've got to be you know, quick out of the traps in terms exactly of you know, making the changes and, and rebuilding the campaigns, which is what we did in this case. And going back when we did that, it was because... Black Friday was approaching, the, you know, it was so, so we knew and they were desperate yes. to right, we need to get our ducks in a row, we need to get things sorted. We knew we only had such a tiny window to be able to uh, to get that ramped up. Oh yeah. The, and so we had, we were, we, you know, we, yeah, we had a tough, tough couple of weeks to it, get that turned was, around, didn't we? The deadline was, was incredibly, yeah. inter incredibly tight. And actually within six weeks, we actually managed to get from onboarding to the, uh, to the yeah, yeah. incredibly good yeah. results. I mean, we were, we've done- The we've revenues done, were, were fine. They were well into six was, figures and beyond. It was six figures. Numbers. The numbers, oh. Uh, oh, we went, we went for a um, quarter of a mil. Yeah, wow. within, so within, that was, but that was within about a two-week period of launching. So it was, it was yes. We'd done, yeah, it took the first three or four weeks to set the thing up, do the orders, do the research, didn't it? And then we went live and it just went nuts. And I think what's important to, to remember is that actually for all the data to start actually yeah. collating and coming, yeah. coming through, we yeah. need at least six weeks. And yeah, within yeah. that six weeks, we still we, we managed to actually yeah. get, it, get it out of learning yeah. and actually make money for the, uh, yeah. for the client. And that was remarkable. That and I think the, the, the answer really was in, first of all, just sorting out all the, uh, all yeah. the foundations, all the proper basic stuff, yeah, yeah. and then just ramping up on the strategic take on the product listings. Yeah. And I think that was huge, huge improvement. Um, and another thing, and obviously, you will absolutely love it. We have really focused on the creatives for Performance yeah, Max. Yeah, we have. So yeah, yeah, we did. We really have taken that end to end. Yeah. And I think, yeah, and I think it's probably to date, it's one of the most involved, but at the same time, most. Um, it was one of the yeah, quickest of the to see that... the, the, the financial rewards of really the effort quickly, going in. Really quick. We saw it even before we kicked the thing truly out of learning, it, the, the revenue was there. And I think there's a lesson there for a lot of retailers is most retailers will have peak, whether it's Black Friday, yeah, whether it's Christmas, yes, yeah. whether it's summer. I mean, a lot of ours coming into summer right now. So peak for us, you know, for a lot of our brands is going to be the summer period. But I think the key learning there for a lot of retailers is know when your customers are going to buy, you yeah. know, when the, when the, your yeah. peak season is, mm -hmm. and then make sure that you have your ducks in a row, make sure your accounts are well optimized, and make sure that, because if they're ready to buy, make it easier for them to buy. Yeah. And that's really what we did with, with Salt Rock, um, and with Origin, and with the various others we've entered into tonight's awards. And then we've got Origin. Yes. So Origin, that was a fantastic example of actually when we also had to rebuild things quite quickly and in a slightly more wholesale way because uh, because the Christmas was coming. So we needed to make yep, sure that yep, um, yep. we are out there. And what we've done with this campaign, we have actually focused on two things, the machines people were buying and subscriptions of pods. Mm. And that really made things flow, uh, fly. Because, well, we have taken a really strategic approach and knowing when the client actually, well, knowing what the client should do, we were able to actually just come up with a bit slightly more of a commercial 
and business idea for yeah. them. The big thing with those girls was thinking, well, really, truly understanding the LTV, so the lifetime yeah. value, because with, with, with these guys, they had, um, it's a subscription model. It's a yes. big part of their business. So it's people, they, you know, they, they, they buy today, but crucially they then say, it, you know, they'll repeat buy for months going yeah. to the future. So that lifetime value, understanding that and being able to then track it and truly understand it meant we could make much better mm. commercial decisions we in did. terms of we what did. types of ads were best to run, mm. how we best to structure the account, what we best to do. And also I think with, with this one, we have really, really picked on, um, on on a Boxing Day when the uh, when the sale started, because yeah. obviously we were able, able to focus on machines, but also we were able to actually get something to put in these machines. So we were just running in parallel two yeah. separate product types. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know machines which are very very high yeah. um, value purchase, and then obviously those sort of you know one ninety nine uh, promotional um, subscriptions, which then sort of switched to seven pounds, yeah. let's say a couple of months down the line, yeah. and that actually worked really well because. Yeah. Ultimately, with um, with Origin, and I think, and I think, if we look just holistically at what we have done with them, um, we have added about seventy percent to their uh, to the bottom line from paid in the alone, yeah. just using that very strategic it approach. Was, and I think, I think a big thing. I mean, a lot of the awards we've, we've, you know, several of the awards we've gone into for tonight are those campaigns where. I wouldn't say we've done anything that's that revolutionary for a lot of these. No. I think we've done the basics really well, mm -hmm. but yes. I think one of the key things we've done for both Origin, for Salt Rock, for various others, is that we have really looked at their business, looked at when their customers buy, their peak periods, their peak seasons. She's off again. And then we've overlaid on that and gone, well, let's take the learnings from last year yes. and then let's really focus in on for this year and make sure those accounts are well set up taking all of the learnings so it's not, it's not and then obviously embedded in really good creative and so on but it's not that revolutionary really it's not no you know, so but it, people forget about the basics yeah but it's the but it's, it's the basics coupled with the focus on when do your customers buy rather than trying to reinvent the wheel let's just look at the data historically and go, when do your customers buy you know if, if black friday is absolute key for you Let's focus a campaign, build a, a campaign and a focus yeah. around that. Let's reverse engineer from that date back. What, what have we got to do and when? And build that momentum up over a number of weeks. Same with summer. We've been working on our summer campaigns yes. for a couple of months now. And we'll have a really simple timeline of what, why, when and how. Yes. And we'll just build that up because we know that for you know, some of our, our garden clients particularly, mm -hmm. you know, that May to August period, Absolutely. Key. Exactly. So we're thinking about that at the back end of the year into Jan, we Feb, and we're, we're building that momentum. We're putting all the foundations in yeah, place, even using the previous year's yeah. data. Even earlier, because we know we know when they start, when their season starts yeah. tailing off. So the yeah. moment their season starts tailing off, we then just sort of start looking holistically at yeah. where they are and what we can do actually just to increase, yeah. you know, just squeeze that final yeah. juice, if and, you like. And I think the big thing that we've done in the last 12 months that we've done even we've done even more of it and that's the creative so we've done it is creative it's, yes you know with with done with what you've been doing in the last few months that so we haven't been we, we just weren't doing as much of that yeah if you go back a year two three yeah whereas now if you think not only have we been doing all the strategy stuff and all the rebuilds and all of the data but also we've been really taking a lot of time and energy to look at the creative yeah i mean how many accounts have we embedded oh, yeah. motion Tons. graphics into yeah. now oh. video into now well and i think what makes it even more important, not important, but even more special in a yeah. way is that we can have that connected straight to the, yes, the page. And, exactly. And it means that the strategy is right in line with that creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we know that it just works in such well, a succinct way. We're able to take all the lines. We can see, basically, in layman's terms, we've been able to see which types of creative are a little bit fatigued yeah. and where we can actually see the competitors doubling down and actually they're innovating and they're really raising the bar yes, and going, yeah. okay, they, they weren't using video two years ago, but they are now. You know, yes. they've turned their still graphics yeah. into motion graphics. Exactly. They've taken their standard shots with a white background and then I'm doing them in a more of a lifestyle yeah. yeah. look and feel, yeah. um, you know, to bring it to like, they're using UGC, mm -hmm. so user generated content. Yeah. All of those things, we are looking at what, you know, Origins competitors, salt water competitors are doing, and we go, okay, we need to take that, we need to learn from that, we need exactly. to think. And I would also add to that that you said that we didn't do anything inventive as such. However, I think just really just entrenching the uh, the, the creative into the strategy was yeah, the inventive yeah, part, yeah. if you think about it. Yeah, I mean, because I, it's that thing, I think because 
I never think of it as that. Like, I don't think we're doing that anything, anything that's that revolutionary. Yeah. But actually, when you speak yeah. to others, when you speak true, to brands, true. they're like, really? Yeah. You yeah. do this? And, and, and it's like, it's not, you know, to us, it's, it's, it's basic, it's yeah. kind of, it's obvious. But I suppose it's like anything, if you're not in that world, it's, no. it's not obvious. And most of, most of the brands, actually, they will just want somebody to run the ads, which is lovely, but then they will probably just bottleneck it slightly with not, yeah. not providing enough yeah. creatives on yeah, time. Yeah, 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 and yeah, that's, yeah. When, that's when essentially results are not being yeah. generated, yeah, mainly yeah. because we, you know, we've got this fantastic optimized ads yeah but then suddenly creative becomes that weakest link yeah so yeah. then what yeah. we have done really is we have just taken holistically the uh, the whole end-to-end -end campaign yeah. you know from strategy through creative all the way to delivery yeah 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 it works it works and fingers crossed it's gonna work to the point where we might walk away with an award or two fingers at, uh, <laughs> at the European Search Awards tonight once but for now for now we're gonna kick back and enjoy the rest of this recruiting yeah. maybe listen to old uh, Whatever her name is behind us on the speaker. Yes, I want to know more about Prague. <laughs> let's, let's, let's try and take What's some culture, shall we? I have What's no idea. Building? I have no idea. Although the view in front of us is amazing. It's absolutely exactly. stunning. Let, let me show you. I'm going to show you. Look at this. Look at this. Let me turn this round. Can we do it? We oh, there we go. Look at this. Yes. There you go. Just wow. There you go. How's that for a, a backdrop? for an evergreen video? What a time to be alive. Trams. Oh, we've got trams. It's all going on. Oh it's God, all going on. Magical. How beautiful go. traditional Detroit right. as well. Yeah. Love we'll it. We'll see you soon. Adios. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>